All right, let me show you where we're going and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you, all right? Here's our data. We have a whole bunch of pizza orders. Lots of pizzas and they go up to seven ingredients. The question we wanna answer, which three ingredients show up the most together? What I wanna talk with you about is I had recorded a half hour of raw footage going into merges and power query and everything to dig this answer out then realized that was completely unnecessary the solution is much easier let's go back to it and let me explain what's going on these are the 20 ingredients from extra cheese down to green olives so now you see that there are a lot of possible combinations here extra cheese sausage black olives minced garlic bacon sun-dried tomatoes sun-dried tomatoes goat cheese basil and so many combinations somebody say they want a black olive with minced garlic and a ham ham minced garlic with pineapple pineapple with habanero pineapple minced garlic don't you want a bacon with sun-dried tomatoes and a green olive green olive with a black olive and a sausage and a sausage black olives and an extra cheese extra cheese with grilled onions and a caramelized onions caramelized onions with a habanero how many combinations are there that is where we unlock this whole thing to make it so easy. Go to the internet. Here's a website where we can get the list of all possible combinations. Types to choose from, that's our ingredients. We have 20 ingredients. Number chosen, we're choosing three. Is order important? No, because habanero goat cheese basil is the same as basil, goat cheese, habanero peppers. We don't care about the order. Is repetition allowed? No, because green olives, green olives, green olives, that's one ingredient. Repetition is not allowed. That means we've got 1,140 possible combinations. I'm gonna extract this as a CSV and then go list here is all of our combinations. I've already grabbed that. Here is the list that I pasted in. 1,140. Now I need a way to go through this list and have it count every time it sees one of these combinations. Let's get at it. I'm gonna go to the orders and put this into a table. Format as table. Let's take this nice purple. All right, call this toppings equals text join. Delimiter, I want just a comma, got to put that in double quotes. And then comma, yes, ignore empty cells, true, comma, this range. Okay, so that's all set. Let's go back to where we want our total. I'm gonna call this tally. Okay. I'm gonna split these apart and I don't have to go to Power Query to do this. Data, just good old text to columns. There is a comma as a delimiter. Next, finish. Okay, ingredients one through three. Format this as a table. Okay, here's a trick and I'm gonna put this on two windows. View, new window. Cool. Call this totals. What's the name of this table? This is called table one, good, all right. Equals, count ifs, open parentheses. Now I want the table, table one, then bracket so that I can get the column, toppings, close the bracket, comma. Now I'm using wild cards. I'm gonna use double quotes, asterisk, double quotes, and here, 
ingredient one and double quote asterisk double quote comma and then table one again toppings close the bracket what I'm telling Excel is go back to table one look in the toppings column and then look for extra cheese no matter what's before it or after it that's how the wild cards are helping next I'm gonna have it look for sausage no matter what's before it or after it okay so this is our criteria range two comma what's the criteria double quote asterisk double quote ampersand sausage or ingredient two ampersand double quote asterisk double quote and one more time so comma what's the criteria range you know it table one open bracket we want the toppings column close that bracket comma and our wild cards double quote asterisk double quote ampersand ingredient three ampersand double quote asterisk double quote close the count ifs enter Woo. okay let's sort so this is telling us that extra cheese black olives pepperoni is the number one trio let's look and see which trios nobody has purchased anchovies sun-dried tomatoes habanero peppers nobody we got what we wanted it took some count ifs and using a tool on the internet that already exists and we didn't have to go through all kinds of stuff in excel or power query easy all right so go get yourself some uh some bourbon that's what i'm gonna do to celebrate Don't work hard if you don't have to. All right? See you in the next video.